Thanks, everyone. No, I'm not bringing you guys TDK anti in a Ranbat Gen 5 game, although there is uh, Earth Ring there, which is kind of fire. But um, anyway, I'm here to bring you guys Lax versus Blunder. It's an SMOU game. It is game two of the SPL finalist tiebreak. Um, game one was won by Lavos and Aruners. Um, you guys didn't see that on my channel, of but you did see the last three games of the set, which the Aruners all won, bring the series back from 3-6 to 6-6, which is a really miraculous um, comeback on their behalf. Um, anyway, it's pretty cool to see um, the tiebreak now, which is the third straight year I still find outside of tiebreak, in fact, which just shows how close competition is. Um, it's really exciting for me personally to see um, how close all the competition is, quite frankly, because as a spectator, largely in part, um, at this point, since my team is out, it's just great. There are so many intense games, so many high-level plays, so many cool teams, um, and I'm looking forward to more of that. Um, needless to say, I'm hoping that that is going to be found here as well. Um, anyway, um, Blunder started off the tournament like 9-1. However, he did lose with um, Rain against Empo's bulky offensive team. He made some really questionable plays, in my opinion, in finals, but Blunder's still a phenomenal player. Um, he probably is one of the more um, timely, aggressive players that you've seen in the last couple of years. Honestly, he has a smog tour win under his belt now. He went really far in OST um, one time, and he's just had a lot of good team tournament records. There's some bad in there as well. He's not the most consistent player alive, but his ceiling is really high, and he's been playing at it throughout most of this SPL. I keep getting PMs. I'm going to pause for a second, but I'll definitely be bringing you guys this game. Rest assured. Yeah, just someone asking me. Oh, here goes the game. That's the game. All right, so we got Blunder using uh, Tapu Fini, Tyranitar, presumably a Salt Fest, but it could be Chobbleberry Stealth Rock. Actually, I think it might be Stealth Rock with Spin Drill and No Rock Drill. Yeah, okay, so probably Stealth Rocks are. Um, the Tornadus is probably Rocky Helmet, making the extra drill Z. Um, Pangrowth could be um, Rocky Helmet here or a Salt Fest. Depends on the tower set and the drill set. And then Zard, I, I think it'd be Zard Y, but I guess Zard X is not a question. Anyway, um, Lax is bringing a four water type rain. Um, it was posted in the yeah. chat that I'm in. I do know the sets, and I'm going to tell you right now it's a pivot palper, just a standard set. Specs, Spikes, Ashgrave, and it's got Surf, no Hydro. Substitute, three attack, Swampert. Stealth Rock, Pinchberry, um, Knock, Dual Stab, Ferrothorn. It's a Belly Drum, Z. Azumarill, and it's a Rocky Helmet Pivot Tornadus. Um, looking at the matchup, I think Blunder is most definitely favored. Um, the combination of the Finny and the Angroth looks quite nice, but also he has one, if not two, ways to change the weather, which can go a long way in this matchup. I think that the possible win conditions for the lack side are potentially quite limited if that is Rocky Helmet on the Tangroth, seeing as it's not player off Azumarill, unfortunately. Um, so you'd really need that to be chipped down quite a bit. Um, so, however, if um, he is able to weaken the Finny and it's all best on the Tangrowth, then that could definitely be a win condition. Um, looking at the other things, um, if it's a salt fest, then while that does not do you justice against the Greninja, unfortunately, it also makes Pert a uh, threat, admittedly, especially if Spikes get up from Greninja, as then Wisp. Stealth Rock and Spike up. Ice Punch can definitely tweak you out. The Tangra, and he doesn't have to ease prediction as a substitute set as well. Anyway, um, good lead for the Blunder side. He's going to get up, get out the Tyranitar against a Tornadus. However, he does not know that this lacks a fighting move. While um, he might be able to um, deduce that just given the nature of the team rain and the fact that you already want Defog, you want Taunt for Tox Specs, because Tox Specs are menace, you want Hurricane and U Turn. So maybe he'll, he'll be smart enough to deduce that, or maybe he's even Chapelberry. Um, hell, he probably even lives a fighting move, but I don't know if he wants to risk it, um, especially if he's Zard X, which is not another way of changing the weather, but I think he will, ultimately, um, deduce that information just from his knowledge of the metagame and probably stay in here. I'd imagine it lacks another hand. It's going to go for a pretty safe U-turn, more likely than not, into Swamper. But I'm going to pause just until turn one. Um, just got to fix the setting real quick. He's going to go for the U-turn, as you see. It's 24%. Sorry, I just missed the animation. Um, you can go back and see it yourself um, if you'd like. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, u turns going to do 24%, which does indicate that it's a max HP turn, I believe. And Swampert, nicknamed the Lava Spawn, comes in. So that being Stealth Rock reveals that Excadrill is probably going to be um, 
Rapid Spin, Earthquake, Swords Dance, and Iron Head. I mean, it does have Swords Dance, not Rocky Helmet. Um, anyway, from Blunder here, I imagine that um, Tangross is going to be the play as it lives two Ice Punches no matter what. Um, I think a decent play from Lax would be to double out to, to Tornadus. However, that does run a risk within itself. Um, and he's just going to go Mega Evolve and Ice Punch just to scout the set. That's going to be 35 when that's Rocky Helmet, which is really bad for the Lax side. Um, there are a couple reasons why it's bad. First and foremost, the fact that it could run Sleep Powder, which means Tornadus cannot come in comfortably on it. Um, at least not without the potential of being slept. It can check it, of course, but yeah. Um, secondly, um, that's more likely to run Hidden Power Fire than Assault Fest. I don't know if that's necessarily the play on a team with Zard and Torn, but if it is, then that makes the Therathorn less safe now as well. And of course, Knock, it's not even lefties, it's Yabba Bay, so getting Knocked is even worse in this scenario. He's going to, however, go for the Substitute on the Hidden Power, predicting that. So that's a really good play from Lax. Um, yeah, I was going to say... That makes a lot of sense. A crit or freeze here would be horrible for Blunder. Thankfully, he's going to get neither of those for the Tyrant side. However, it is true that this part is now weakened. Um, can't really sub here, however, because Substitute puts you in range for like a potential Rocky Helmet knockout. Um, I don't think that Earthquake is enough to kill it from 20. Um, is it? No, no way, because Neutral Ice Punch would do 17. So, Resist Earthquake, yeah, no way. Uh, He's going to go to the Tornadus on an Ice Punch, and that's going to take 75. And there's going to be another Rocky Helmet that puts it at 26%, interestingly enough. I think that's a good pivot from the Blunder side, um, seeing as there are no Flying Resists on Lax's team, which is one of my big issues with using the Azumarill over that. But anyway, he's going to go to Ferrothorn here, wisely enough. And it is worth noting that the Hidden Power was resisted on the um, Swamper. So therefore, seeing as Hidden Power resisted, this Hidden Power Fire... Um, I could definitely see um, him predicting this, but no, he doesn't. He just goes for the safe hidden power fire. That's fine. I think that Defog and U-Turn are both a valid place here from Lax. However, I think if you're Blunder, um, you could just go out to Drill or Torn, even Tar. I just don't like Tar taking another U-Turn here. Um, it is worth noting that this should be able to live a pursuit after a sand turn um, from a bulkier Tyranitar, which I believe it is. Stop PMing me, goddamn it. I'm going to pause. Fucking spammers, man. I hate these bitches. Anyway, um, Blunder is definitely in a winning position overall. I mean, maybe not necessarily winning, but a positive situation where once the game comes down more, he's going to likely... I don't like Zard there. Um, okay, so... Sure, you go Zard, but I don't see how that stops... Um, a U-turn into the Pelipper. And if this... Fuck, stop PMing me, people! What does this guy want, man? Who's this? Stupid ass. I see it's okay, so it's X. So that means that Azumarill is pretty free. Um, however, I would still go Pelipper. Um, yeah, and he goes Azumarill, and it gets to burn. Uh, that sucks. Um, Blunder says swag in the chat, and wow, the pirates are being complete assholes in the chat. Okay. If this happens, then they'd be gone. Can this guy stop PMing me, man? I'm just trying to record. This is even him. I, I love Toy Team. He's my 2D. But now there's another guy who's like spamming me with a bunch of questions about the battle. I really don't have a care in the world to answer. But um, anyway, that burn is really unfortunate for um, the Blunder side because he did weaken the Tangrowth. It's at, uh, actually, I don't know. I don't think plus six knock would kill it at that point anyway. But man, um, I just can't believe the hypocrisy of a couple of users in the Tyrants in the battle chat. Um, for example, you've got Crashing Boom Bang saying the Santana Swagger, but if that happened against him, then um, he would surely be crying, um, explaining how it's not fair to his team and shit. He's going to go for the Dragon Dance there. Um, good play from Blunder. Um, so now, if you're um, lax, you're almost definitely going to go for the um, U-turn here. And you should live the Dragon Claw comfortably. However, that does force you into your um, Swampert. Um, unless he just wants to fodder the Azumarill here. That would be an okay play. You know what? Actually, he went for another Dragon Dance. And he goes for a Hurricane, and that's just 48. Okay. Um, confusion would be huge here. I think that second Dragon Dance wasn't a great play because it risks the Confusion. Um, however, if there's no Confusion, then it's going to... Okay, it gets the Confusion, so... Yeah, this is huge. Um, if it gets if it confuses here, then that could potentially um, put Lax in a positive situation. 
I really think clinching damage on this Pelipper would have been big, seeing as your Tyranitar is already taking a little chip. And he's going to switch out to Finny. What? I, I don't know why he didn't U-turn. I would have U-turned there to try and capitalize on it. But anyway, I'm mean, just going to U-turn here. It's fine. I think U-turn made all the sense in the world, actually. Um, because while you have him confused, you might as well try and capitalize, get like an Astro Ninja off, and, and kill it with Hurt. But, um, both players seem to have other ideas. Anyway, the Ferrothorn's going to come in here on the Torn. This is Gyro Ball. I wouldn't be shocked if he went for Gyro Ball here. Um, I also wouldn't be shocked if he just tried to click Stealth Rock. Um, I believe it is a Stealth Rock variant. Yeah, Stealth Rock Knock. Um, hmm. Anyway, um, just trying to think here. I think Stealth Rock is a play from Lax, and I think that just uh, U-Turn is a good play from Blunder here. Um, man, I got help here. Hey, did he dry row? Oh, he taunted on the rocks, man. Um, all right, and now Blunder's talking in the chat. He said, come on, bro. Okay, I, this is my issue with the tyrants. Like, because they've gotten outplayed in games before, and they've, like, given shit to other people. Like, the level of outright hypocrisy this team shows is just baffling, and it's a really poor reflection on the... Smile gun community, in my opinion. Um, but hey, I guess I have it your way. Um, anyway, the Greninja is going to get in safely here. Um, so that's good. However, the Finny is basically a safe switch in. Um, you know what? If I'm lax here, I take it. I, if I'm lax here, I attack this, this Charizard. There's a decent chance that Blunder just says, fuck it. There's no way he attacks. He's either switching or clicking spikes. Um, I, I think I attack here because you don't lose a ton chipping the Finny. Um, given that your Pharaoh is healthy. In fact, I might even double attack the Finny if it goes to Finny because he might double out. Honestly. Because um, you're falling behind here a bit, especially with Azumarill burnt and weakened. So, therefore, I, I think that taking this risk would be a really good play from Lax. I think Blunder's the type of guy to just throw it away. Um. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past Lax to just go for the straightforward attack here. And he's time he's taking a lot of time here. It was a Pharaoh. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Alright, that works. That works. That works. I was really worried there for a minute, not gonna lie. Anyway, I rock here for sure. Um Yeah, that was that was the better play from Lax. It's just hard, just like Blunder is the type of guy who's like good play. He's really methodical. Um, with his approach in the game. And Bl Blunder just like, bro, they're not going up in the chat. I just, I don't understand how someone who's so fragilely um, egotistical can really can really say this shit. Like, he gets stalled two times and then suddenly he, he falls off the face of the earth. And then now, um, now this. I don't know, man. I don't fuck with it, though. I I, I think that these tyrants are doing themselves like rams and have to come out of um, so some social real... I don't want to say social suicide, but basically that... Um, if they don't win this SPL, man, and I mean, if they do win this SPL, you guys are never going to hear this narration, so. I'm fine just sitting on my little hypocritical ass right here. That, that works with me. Um, gyro, please. Thank you. Yeah, good play. Alright, now you take helmet, too, so. You're going to, next hurricane is going to put you in barrier range, which is good. Um, this is a hard play. I think you can go torn here, though. Um, how healthy is torn? Ah, I don't know. He went tar? What? Why would you go tar? Oh, uh, why did that work, man? Why did that fucking work? I think Jiro, man. Uh, actually, I guess Jiro would only be like 45, 50, but man, that was a shit play from Blunder, in my opinion. He was trying to catch the turn. I guess. Like, why not U turn? Is it not U turn? You know what? Okay, if it's not U turn, that's fine. I guess, because that's like a mid ground. Like, it, it can't die. Because generally Jiro kills it. Anyway, Lax's timer is real down now. Um, he goes to Tangrowth here on a Power Whip. Okay. Um, yeah, it does have that right. Um, the Rocky Helmets are doing nice. Um, you want the Torn on Aiden Power Fire. Yeah, that's fine. That's 14. Now we're going to see a U-turn almost for sure. Um, CVB is really trying to like go hard in the chat right now, but I don't really see why this impacts him. He's not on either team, and he hasn't signed up for any tournaments in the past couple of years. But 
Hey, I mean, to each their own, you know, how you get your pleasure, man, you feel me? And he doubles out to Torn, and this Torn's actually kind of going to town here. Um, the drill might have to be um, sent in eventually, because the tar keeps taking each He's going to go to Finny. Is this call with a knock? He went for a hurricane. That does 27. That reveals that it's a calm Finny. Um, I think you knock here. But hurricane, again, it is a fine play, and so is U-turn. I mean, you could justify all of it. Um, you turn actually looks good to me because if there's any damage is done then on the Pharaoh, then it gets all the way back up with the berry, which is pretty big, I'd say. Um, but yeah, Lax has to be just super methodical to actually make progress here, and it kind of has to run through this. Did he go for the U-turn? Go for the U-turn. Okay, that's nice. That's that's a good play. I really like that play from the blunder side. Um, he's gonna go to Pelipper to get his rain up now, and not only that, but he's gonna see that this is not leftovers, meaning that it's almost definitely gonna be Z drill. The issue is that if it's Z Giga Impact, then that um, could potentially. No, I can't kill the Pelipper. The Pelipper's defensive, but at plus two it could. And I don't know if Lax, being a bit more of an NU player, would know that. Anyway, another U turn here. So keeping the Finny honest, he's going to go to Tornadoes here. And Lax is really taking control of the momentum in this game. I really like how he's approaching this sequence. Um, I think that he's a step ahead of Blunder at this point in terms of sequential playing. However, Blunder is still a step ahead in terms of overall progress. Letting that take a Hurricane is um, fine. Um, Scald getting the burn there is really good for the Blunder side. That is huge. Um, now you, you turn out into Pharah. Um, yeah. Want to know why? Because this is going to, A, not be able to burn because of Misty Train, but B, it's going to give him the berry. Um, so that's huge. Um, please don't click Stealth Rock on this turn. Please don't click Stealth Rock. He's going to do it. You know, he's going to click Stealth Rock and he's not going to taunt. Watch, watch. Now that he has revealed power, if he's conditioned and switching out. Yeah, actually, I would rock here if I'm lax. But man, I wouldn't put it past Blunder to taunt. Taunt would be, uh, you know, no, taunt's too risky, man. Because, like, if this gets any more weakened, then Greninja and Rain pops off with hot with surf, man. I tell you what, um, you rock here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I'm Blunder, I think Zard is a play. Yeah, I'd go Zard. And lax is suddenly clawed into, while well, not a desirable position, definitely a playable position. In my opinion. I like how he's approaching this. Um, admittedly, though, it's still anyone's game. Um, and Zard is to play there. Ah, oh, the knockoff. No! Oh, man. And I totally understand why Lax went for that move. Um, I think it was an okay play. I would have probably whip whipped over that, but anyway. Um, I don't like the flare blitz there from Blunder. But anyway, it's just going to meet a U-turn, probably. Yeah, um, and now he goes Greninja here, um, and I think you just fire off a Surf. Um, reason being, A, Finny is going to be taking probably 30% from that Surf, net 23, 22-ish with leftovers, but I never seen a bit less. Um, and B, on the off chance that he doesn't go to Finny, as that's too telegraphed, something's dying. I really think Lax should Surf here. Um, I really think that going for anything besides Surf would be a bad play. And he goes for Surf into the Tangrowth. That does a lot. See? Net does so much there. That does 62. Um, now, this is big because now, while the Swampert is admittedly in range of two Rocky Helmets, that actually gives it a bit of an opening to actually make progress, or simply just ease the game to where Surf from Greninja can sweep later on itself. Um... I don't like Pharaoh, but it works. Wow, good play. Um, you know what? Actually, I take it back. I do like Pharaoh. I was between Pharaoh and Torn there, but Pharaoh worked well. Um, Lax is getting a lot of. Lax is playing a good game at this point. I would say. Um, Blunder is on the back foot, admittedly, at this point, and I, I still think his overall position is fine. But it's getting closer and closer to where Lax is, is pecking away at, at the progress that. Blunder made through the burn and the chip and whatnot. Um, um, I rock here again. Um, um, I would definitely rock here. There's no way Blunder stays in. Please tell me he rocked. Yes! He rocked. Uh, and that is huge. Why is that huge, you might ask? Well, it does mean that Blunder can set him up his own. That, that tar dies. Wait. 
wait, why would you tar? I, I don't get that. I think this was bad. Um, um, I whip here. Um, actually, whipping is fine here, but as is going Pelipper. And I think going Pelipper might be a bit more appealing towards the Lax side. And I, at this point, by the way, I think Lax is taking the lead. Um, he goes for Swords Dance on the whip. Um, that does 52. Um, now you fought a Resumeril. Now you fought a Resumeril here. Um... And I think you, I, I think that sword dance was poor by Blunder. I, I think it was really poor because he just took damage for nothing. And yeah, Iron Head. So he's not even going to get the. And now this is in Shuriken range. Um, do you go to Greninja? I think you just go Gren. He goes Gren. He clicks Water Shuriken. And sure, that invites the Finian, but the Finian's taking chip. Yeah, and he keeps rocks up. That's big. Wow. Um, I'm not huge on how Blunder approached that sequence. There's no way he called this and did anything besides. Yeah, good, good. And he's going to get the 12. Uh, four hits. Five hits. Hey! He's going to bring it down to 50. But that's no big deal. He's going to go to Pharaoh here. Um, on the defog. Sure, you get the defog. But like, you wait. I, I feel like that sword stand turn was just a real big waste by Blunder, um, honestly. And now, are we going to up again? He ups in the Zard. All right, now you got to go Pelipper. Um, I think you hurricane, then you turn. Hurricane, then you turn. Ah, uh, we're playing. This is risky here. I don't know. Ah, uh, he gets the confusion. He gets the confusion. He gets the confusion. Come on, confuse, confuse. Come on, it's confuses. It could be over, man. Holy shit! He switch. Why would you switch again? You have no. Wait, he went to draw. What is this? Holy shit! Blunder is falling apart. Wow, and he's gonna get the hurricanes. This is gonna be this game is very close to being over. Um the issue is he can't let Zard in. Um Moonblast is a good play there on another hurricane. I think that was a greedy ass hurricane from Lax, honestly. Um I would go torn here. Go torn, go torn, go torn. Go torn, please. Please tell me go torn. Print works too. Um, surf pretty much wins. Like, like Greninja is the win condition here, clearly. Um, I don't really like how Blunder played this game, man. I, 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 again, I think he's a really good player, but I don't know. He just hasn't been himself in the finals. Um. But anyway, um, I stand by a lot of what I said about the Tyrants, man. Um, assuming this game is what it is. and He's going to fight it. For, that's fine. Now you just go Greninja and you click Surf. And yeah, something dies for sure. Um, wow, he clinched it. This is smart. Um, and it should be over now. Um, wow. Um, shit, man. That's gonna Sorry. It, it killed with Surf. It killed the Finny with Surf. Then he doubled to Zard. Wait, he doubled to Zard. Okay, it's good play from Blunder. Um... The Grand still at 88, though, and this showed Roost, so I think you just you turn out to um, Greninja. Yeah, you just you turn out to Greninja, and that clenches it. Um, and that'll be... I, I think that... Um, wow, Pearl just tagged all runers there, saying we're champions. What a piece of shit. Fuck Pearl. Um, <laughs> wait, oh, it's Taunt. This is Taunt. Okay, he taunts here. And, yup. Oh, and Lax hits him back with the swag. Wow. And the Runers are going to walk away with SPL. Holy shit. Wow. Good game, man. You turn here. If you don't, you turn here. Please, you turn. Please tell me you turn. Thank you. And now Greninja wins again. With Dark Pulse. Uh, I might even with Surf. Yeah, I think Surf does it, honestly. Because it's Ash and in Rain. <laughs> Wait, let's see. And the surf does 83. <laughs> uh, good game. Um, that's a wrap. 
and the Runers win SPL 10. Congratulations.